Men of Reddit, what do you think would be the worst thing about being a woman? The fact that schools think showing shoulders f-king corrupts the minds of men. To the point where they go out of their way to suspend the girls who do so. Oh. And giving birth. Not feeling fully safe at all times in public. Or hell. Even at home. I take it for granted that I can walk pretty much anywhere at any time of day, or night, and should be fine. Periods just seems annoying also the perverts that are in this world. Lower metabolism would mean I would have to eat significantly less to not get fat. I already eat and drink like tea, And only stay in good shape by running a ton of lifting some. I'd probably be fat if I wasn't a guy. Being surrounded by people that are way bigger and stronger than you and could do basically anything if they wanted. Like. Imagine if half of society was silverback gorillas. Sure. Most of the gorillas are perfectly nice. But all it would take is one deciding he doesn't like you and that's it. Comma but all it would take is one deciding he doesn't like you and that's it. Or one who likes you too much. Childbirth. I'm told it's painful. Not to mention the 9 months prior where your body and mind do all kinds of weird shit that you have no control over. Unsolicited dick pics. Big boobs. Ever watch a woman run? Of course you have you liar. Seeing them bounce all over the place looks annoying as fck. I get annoyed if I'm casually jogging with a bag that's not secured super well. Can't imagine having those going all over the place. Pockets and pants are too small. Pregnancy. Ain't gonna lie. That shitty looks painful and I have the utmost respect for all women who go through being pregnant. Edit. So this is now my most upvoted and replied to comment. Thanks for all the love. And hate. Having people be fake towards you just because they want to get in your pants. Edit. Shout out to the gifter. S. And to the wonderful people responding. I would think these. Back pain from the boobs weight. The mood swings. Not being able to pee anywhere easily standing up. Not being able to go bare chested. Being expected to be classy everywhere. Means no farting. Yawning or sitting legs wide. Opinions being dismissed casually. Being regarded a bitch for being too assertive. Expected to stay back and let someone else handle it. Can't wander off at night without fear of being physically attacked or s sorely abused. Being expected to not get fat to be desirable. Being expected to wear the black Birkin 100F or not being able to drive or go out without male guardians in some backwards parts of the world. Didn't bother with all the top ones already mentioned like periods and childbirth. Being unable to be nice to a man without him hitting on you. Menstrual cramps with endometriosis and PCOS. Edit. Ah. I. P my inbox. And thank you for the bling. Edit 2. Holy hell. My first gilding followed by another. This really is too much. Please instead make donations to your local Planned Parenthood. Or other low cost women's health program. Not being taken seriously. I've seen the way some people ignore the opinions and concerns of women and chalk it up to that time of the month or even more vulgar things. Much respect to women and the business world who have to deal with a lot of bullshit. S. Zul harassment. Being viewed as bitchy if I push for what I want. Being looked at S. Zul all the time. I know most people would say periods or cramps but I think that the worst thing would be that girls are set to a certain standard. If you're not tall. Wear heels. If you are tall. It's just weird. You can't be taller than boys. And also the dress codes for schools are aimed mostly toward girls. No short shorts. When would a guy wear them? No revealing shirts. Cough cough shoulders. Like how are shoulders distracting? And also, no offense to any ladies, but there's so much freaking drama. Make one wrong move and you're known as the school idiot. Kiss one guy and er uh, the school wh re. It's just horrible. Probably being approached constantly. I never gave it much of a thought. But after I bought a classic car. 
I can only imagine how annoying it must be sometimes. There are times where I'm just out driving and want to enjoy some cruise time. Or trying to do a test drive after a repair. And it never fails that someone will stop me and attempt to go into a 15 minute conversation about cars. Normally it's fine. I enjoy cars and appreciate people enjoying cars. But every so often you just want to be left alone. Especially when you're trying to see if the repair you just did worked. Don't want to come across as rude and try to cut things short. But sometimes you've got to just do it. There have been days where I was going through some stuff and thought a cruise would be nice. But the thought of interacting with random folk made me cringe so I just stayed home instead. I'm a woman and just looking at some of the replies here I feel better. I haven't met a lot of understanding men in my life. And the daily amount of bullshit is so much. The comments kind of restored my faith and hope in the world. Thank you. From what I've been led to believe. As well as what I've seen myself. Probably dealing with men. Aside from that. Healthcare. Heard some real horror stories online as well as from friends about male doctors basically just not believing when something was wrong with a woman's health. Fear of getting raped. Living my life in fear. There's so much that I've seen women talk about needing to worry about before going out. While out doing anything. On the way home. It's crazy. The ever present threat of getting raped. Kidnapped. And or murdered would drive me insane. Being vilified for helping someone cheat. Which is of course a shtty thing to do but it still happens every day. Honestly. Men. Men constantly look down on women. Sometimes unconsciously. Sometimes not. Everything in this thread is like yeah. That too. Oh I haven't thought of that. Shti that would suck too. Periods childbirth. Generally speaking. Being physically vulnerable harassment and so on. I need to go do something nice for my wife. And my daughter. And my younger daughter. And my granddaughter. If you're a grandpa then follow this advice. From many posts here the experience of an old man groping. Harassing. Following. Making s or comments to etc. Girls as young as 13 is absolutely rampant and it's excused because of the age of the perpetrator. Don't let that happen. Not only with you but with your friends. If one of your friends is talking about this young little thing he encountered at some point. Call him what he is. A f king pedophile. Cat calling. Having men make laws about my body. Fear. I think I've only been properly scared two or three times in my life. But every woman I know reports fear a lot of the time. Nom. Periods aren't so bad. Upper body strength can be changed. It's the fact that if you are hetero. The number one threat to your life is your partner. Kinda takes some of the fun out of dating. Periods. Edit. Looks like a lot of you agree. Makes me wish I'd switched back to my main account before answering. I have learned a lot though. Answers range from men. They aren't that bad to periods ruin your life so have your uterus removed immediately. Edit 2. Thanks for the silver. Edit final. Okay. I thought I'd list some of the possible methods of relief from below comments. 1. Nothing helps. Source. A lot of you. Asterisk. 2. Birth control. Source. A lot of you. Asterisk. 3. Painkillers. Didn't see anyone mention ibuprofen specifically. But so claims this helps. Asterisk. 4. CBD and celery juice. Source. You smooth shake. 5. Agnesium. Please read user's full post as it's long and I have no idea how to link to it. Source. You butter cakes. 6. Reducing caffeine intake. Source. You blonder unicorn. Honorable mention. Hose down lady bits several times per day. Source. The government making laws about your body for the express reason to control you. Seems real f head up. That the person most likely to kill me would be my significant other. And that it's relatively common. 
the expectation of wearing makeup. I don't understand why it has become such a universal standard. I personally don't find loads of makeup all that attractive. I appreciate the effort that ladies put into it and I really do like a well done natural look. But I would hate to feel like it's necessary every day. Harassment. Men seeing me as inferior for things I didn't have a say in receiving upon birth. Also boards of men taking away my rights that would sting. The periods will be second. Third is apparently women don't retain heat as well as we do. But having to work harder than a man for the same pay and respect is my first. Playing against isms and good old boy networks is no one's idea of a good time. But it happens to us much less frequently. And the blood and the lack of heat really just doesn't hold a candle to how that affects how you live and work. Men thinking that smiling at them or talking nicely means come and fck me. Having to sit on public toilets to pee rather than just using a urinal. Childbirth. I see a lot of period and childbirth being listed here. But why have nobody talked about the fear of becoming pregnant now that the abortion laws are getting stricter in some places? Or even just having to get an abortion. That can be pretty traumatic for some women. I'm a woman. So I guess I'm not supposed to answer this. But I kept scrolling and I saw nothing about abortion and I kinda think that sucks way more than giving birth or having my period tbh. My initial thoughts were periods and being more fearful more often. Then I heard a daddy can you wipe my butt? From the other room and thought ah. Dumb. Childbirth. Hands down. If men had to have the babies humans would have ended long ago. Dude one gives birth. All dudes watching. Extinction doesn't sound too bad. The thread where women commented about men's issues was much more insightful and empathetic and the top comments colon. I agree. The top comments in the other thread were about huge issues of sism against men. How men aren't allowed to display emotion and how they are constantly perceived as predatory against children. Here. The top comments are period pain. Birthing pain and boob pain. Granted. There is a lot more interesting discussion happening a bit further down. So I do have some hope. Knowing that there are people in your everyday or passing life who get off to violent or deviant PRN. Knowing that women all over the world are arped and sold. That the number of slaves owned today is larger than the peak of the African slave trade. Being told that third wave feminism is a disgrace to women when women all over the world are tortured and murdered in honor killings. And sold off as child brides. And controlled by law in what they can wear. Female children growing up in a society that values women's s will appeal to men over their skill and especially their mind. Bombarded by advertising and media preying on insecurity and pushing girls to fit the desired form. Oh yeah but periods sound pretty bad. I went through a bit of a promiscuous phase in my 20s and I was praised for it and all my friends thought it was cool. If I was a girl I would probably be hated and called a wh -re. Constant pressures to meet unattainable beauty standards. Being less physically stonger and worrying about your safety a lot more. Periods. I'm surprised nobody have said social pressure to shave. I'm a girl. I might have broken the rule. Edit. Thank you kind stranger. Being called a SLT for being a SZL or being blamed responsible for pregnancy. My brother got his GF of 2 years pregnant. My parents treat my brother like some kind of martyr and they treat his GF like some sperm jacking gold digging WH re. It's like UHH it takes two to make a baby. And I doubt she talked him out of wearing a condom. I love my brother but it's infuriating listening to them talk about what a SLT this poor girl is and how my brother just gets off scot free. The amount of staring and moving to be in close proximity of an attractive woman. It's insane how many dudes creepily stare at the hot women at my gym and how dudes act on public transit around attractive women. I don't know how y'all do it. Lack of upper body strength. The men of Reddit. Honestly not in true. Obviously it's not the worst thing ever about being a woman. 
but it's very exhausting seeing the constant low level sism from guys on this site get upvoted all the time. People calling it out getting downvoted. And then people go on to be like see there's mainly guys on here there's no women on the internet when half the time a woman says something and makes it clear she's a woman she gets downvoted to oblivion. And then the rest of the time we don't say we're women and everyone assumes we're men and uses it to support their sism. Having to do makeup and hair rug. Not having a penis. Hanging out in the open like that. Everyone can see when you're horny. Only one orgasm at a time. Whiskey dick. Men. Sounds like too many design flaws for me. Sism. People constantly trying to tell you what to do with your body. The fear of being violated. I'm a big guy. The statistics about men experiencing violence more than women are true. She, GF, never got into a fight. I have been. For example. Jumped by 5 people. Threatened with knives. Sucker punched by strangers. Had to fight troublemakers at night in the city. All that stuff. And still. I feel safe. Does it hurt sometimes? Sure. Is my ego hurt? Even more. But man. The stories some girls told me. So many of them had bad shti happen to them. From creeps following them. Talking the most vile nasty shti. To being groped. Insulted. To being raped. I heard stories worse than any horror movie I've ever seen. And I've seen them all. I know I don't look friendly at first sight. Thanks to resting thug face. I know you will cross the street. But girls. For every asshole out there. There is at least one guy who wants you to be safe. Speak up. I know it's hard. I hope someone will be there if you need help. I'm sorry. I know I didn't so shti. But I'm sorry we. As a society. Seem yet unable to make you feel safe. Fear. Just general fear. As a man I am secure in my delusion that I could protect myself from pretty much anything. I know it's not true when I think about it. But I believe it just enough so I never think about it. I do not think women have that luxury and I cannot fathom life without it. Underwear. Why just why? Those shti goes deep in your butt crack. I can't even handle it when my boxers goes 1mm into my butt crack. Dealing with men. The general disrespect. If you're hot. Your cat called all the time. If you're ugly. The public lets you know. The increased need for diet and exercise. Based on what the women in my life have told me. It's a lot harder for women to lose weight and stay in shape than it is for men. Working out intensely plus watching what I eat for a month and not seeing any results from it would drive me insane. And probably discourage me from wanting to keep it going. So many dudes are like women just have to not be fat men have to slave away at the gym to be attractive. It's like you know what my BMR is? Like 1300 calories. That means a single candy bar is like 1 stroke 4 of my caloric intake. I can't f king eat anything without it making me fat. The prices of things for womanly items. Shts expensive. Societal pressure. Probably. The urge to both conform and to be unique must drive women insane. I couldn't handle one day being female. Rape still being brushed off as though it happens to a lot of people. Wow as a woman reading this thread. It's super weird that many people didn't understand what I meant on the other opposite thread when I basically said men are at the top of the world. I've always wanted to be a man. Just so I could feel safe. The amount of thought you have to put into your appearance. So as a guy that goes out often with women I'd say the worst thing is how creepy guys act around women. They feel entitled to their attention and time just because they go to bars. I've had guys follow us out of bars trying to go home with my friends. Woman here. I think the worst part is a lot of the time being thought of as nothing but an incubator. Saw an ATA post about how this woman's husband wanted her to get to high risk surgery only for the woman to be able to get pregnant. The only thing is. The pregnancy was an even higher risk. 
He felt as if he owed it to him to try. He literally saw her as a baby capsule. It just makes me so angry. Having a group of girls as friends. Never seen a scenario where a large group of girls and all bitching about each other behind their backs or just generally upsetting each other and falling out. I have a close group of 8 girlfriends we go back nearly 20 years. We've never spoken behind each other's backs. Or been nasty to each other or had a falling out. We got each other's back no matter what. I have another group of girlfriends from grad school. Five of us. We're super close and have never experienced any of the other above either. In fact when one of the girls was recently diagnosed with oral cancer. We all took a week of work to head to her hometown to help care for her. I've never spoken behind a friend's back. And I bet none of my girlfriends have either. I think the hardest and most frustrating thing about being a woman is you don't instantly get respect like a man does. If a man walks into a bar, no one is trying to woo him. Or have an ulterior motive most of the time. A woman will have to fight off the bar flies because they'll be gawking at her. She'll be considered a feisty one and then she'll get left alone. I'm not saying this is true in all cases. But it's just my experience.